everyone. I'm Anna. I'm a member of Commedia dell'arte and I'm going to be talking to you about stage fright today. A lot of people think I don't deal with it, um, but I'm actually a very nervous person right before a show and I have a few tips. Keep in mind not everything works for everybody all across the board, but hopefully these can guide you on the right path and maybe you can find something new that'll help. One thing that I use that nervous energy for is to sort of propel the performance. That sort of hype up and all that tension and energy that you get from being so nervous can give you the energy to really bring out a character and really make that character even more animated than it might be in rehearsals. Another thing that I do is, it may seem silly and a little new agey, but it's kind of cleansing. A lot of people will do sort of very cleansing little rituals to help calm themselves down. Mine is almost like a, like a, I guess, clean slate, you know, just deep breath and bringing the hands down to your center to calm yourself. But that's helped me. I know other actors have used things like meditation, um, yoga, just anything that you know calms you down try it because um, again not everything works for everybody across the board another thing that can help is troop rituals because then you feel like okay these people have my back and if I get tripped up someone's gonna maybe take the reins with you know an ad lib or something to get me on the right track um, but uh, I know in Comedia, we do a little finger um, lock and say, you know, break a leg right before. Um, and I know that that really brings us together and we feel really comfortable with each other. And that really helps you feel comfortable on stage when you know that the other actors you're working with are going to work with you. It's not just yourself on the stage and there isn't everything on your shoulders. Um, another thing that helps a lot is focus on the actors. Focus on your fellow actors and the scene that you're doing because if you're thinking about what people may be thinking out in the audience or all those eyes on you that can be very distracting and um, that's another reason why I like flash photography at live performances is usually um, prohibited because it do it can take an actor out of a scene another thing that helps me at least is blacking out the audience um, it really helps. You know they're there, but if you can't see their faces, if you're not focusing on their faces, you are less likely to forget things. And um, when you're focusing on something other than, again, focusing on something other than your fellow actors and the scene that you're doing, you're more likely to forget things um, and possibly panic, which you don't want. Um, I know Stephanie probably spoke in her video about ad-libbing the importance of not panicking um, because that's not going to help. Just keep a cool head and, um, you know, just just know, hey, th this happens and it's going to be okay. Um, I also, if I have to look out into the crowd, because some scenes... Um, you, you do have to look out into the distance and that does require you to look out into the crowd. Um, I focus on the back wall or possibly the very back top of the ceiling. Um, 
just anything that is not the audience really helps even if it's a large venue and you're having a hard time finding an empty area focus on an empty seat if there is one um, but just don't look out into the crowd because that can be so distracting and so nerve-wracking and it's just really going to take you out of the zone so to speak but um, I hope this helped uh, and uh, I look forward to being back on stage with everybody and seeing our fans come out to watch us again all right thank you you guys have a good one